Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. Festive season is right here and uh, today I'm here with another gorgeous festive makeup tutorial. You can wear this look for Diwali or for Navaratri or for Durga Puja as well. And I have created this beautiful like champagne bronze eye look with a little bit of green on the outer corner. And yeah, I just love the way how the look turned out before starting if you are new to the channel then hi i am nita i upload makeup skincare and beauty related videos here on my channel if those things interest you then please consider subscribing it will mean a lot to me and if you are already a subscriber then thank you so much from the bottom of my heart so yeah without further ado let's get started first i am using my anastasia deep brow pomade in the shade ebony and i am drawing the borders of my brows first then i'll be filling them up using small hair like strokes i already shared with you my eyebrow routine if you are interested i will mention the video in the description box down below so make sure to check it out now i'm just cleaning up the borders on my brows using my milani concealer which i'll be using for my face later on i just like to clean up the borders of my brows because i i always love that sharp brow look you can totally skip it if you want to i'm applying the same concealer on my eyelids to prime my eyelids for eyeshadows and now i am just blending everything out using a damp beauty sponge this particular sponge is from wet and wild and it is my absolute favorite i am using my maybelline fit me loose powder in the shade 15 light and i am just setting the concealer in place so that it does not crease I am using this eyeshadow shields which I got from Amazon. You can use your regular sticky tip as well. For my eyes, first I am taking my Murumuru Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula and I am applying it as my transition color with this large fluffy blending brush from Morphe. This is my Morphe M441 brush. If you do not have any like brown eyeshadow, then you can totally grab your bronzer and use it as your eyeshadow and it just works perfectly well for me. Now I am taking this rusty orange shade from my Beauty Glazed Color Board Eyeshadow Palette. This is the orange palette and with my Morphe M456 brush, I am applying it as my crease color and I am slowly building it up uh, to avoid any kind of patchiness. And you guys, if you have any video request, uh, if you want me to create any uh, look, makeup look, then please let me know in the comment section down below. or. In general, if you have any video requests, then feel free to comment down below because uh, I like to film your requested videos, so please leave a comment. Now I am blending everything out using that uh, same fluffy blending brush so that there is a seamless blend. Now I am taking this dark emerald green shade from the palette and I am applying it on my outer V area and for that I am using the same Morphe AM456 brush. This is a very deep uh, shade so this type of shades tend to become patchy pretty easily. So you need to be careful and I am first just placing the color uh, and then I am just slowly blending it out and I am barely touching my skin because if you press hard then the shadow might stick to the point where the brush hits first now I am taking this kind of like antique bronze shade from the blue palette and I'm applying it all over on my eyelid with my Morphe M124 brush as I mentioned earlier that I do not like uh, the shimmer shades within this palette but this particular shade is an exception this particular shade is so good and i kind of scratched the top layer and then it is such a beautiful stunning reflective like metallic shimmer shade so yeah i'm just applying it all over on my eyelid now taking that green shade i'm applying it between the shimmer shade and that outer area shade just to create a nice and smooth gradient effect now to amp up the look further i am taking these two pressed glitters from my uh, nyx glitter Gold's eye uh, pressed glitter palette and with my finger i'm applying it on the middle part of my eyelid and i must say adding a little bit of glitter just instantly changed the look it just instantly took the look to the next level what do you guys think of course if you are not a glitter person you can totally skip it 
For my eyeliner today, I am taking my Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner in the shade Blackest Black and to apply it, I am using my Morphe M2500 brush. I get a lot of question about this brush. This is my Morphe M2500 brush and it is such a good one. Before continuing with my eye makeup further, I'm going to finish um, the rest of my makeup and for that I'm taking my Essence Hello Good Stuff Primer and I already moisturized my face about half an hour ago. And this primer you guys it is such a good one this is kind of a hydrating and gripping primer at the same time it just creates a tacky base and your makeup just lasts all day long this is such an affordable primer and it is a good one now i am taking my favorite yellow girl orange and yellow color characters and i have taken three parts of the yellow color character and one part of the orange color character and i am mixing them together to create my custom shade and now i'm just applying it underneath my eyes and i am blending it out at the same time using my finger because the warmth of my finger uh, will help to melt the product into my skin For my foundation, I am taking my Maybelline Superstay in this shade 310 Sun Beige and this is you guys a full coverage foundation. You guys always ask me to recommend you some full coverage foundations and this is a good one. Now bear in mind that coverage is very much subjective. I have minor scars, minor imperfections and this gives me full coverage as if I don't exist anymore but if you have really darker deeper uh, like spots then you can always go ahead and use a full coverage concealer to spot correct and for highlighting and concealing i'm using the same milani concealer in the shade 135 and i'm applying it underneath my eyes and my mouth on my chin cupid bow down the bridge of my nose as well as on the center of my forehead and i'm blending it out using the same damp sponge i like to start blending my concealer from my mouth area first because i do not want coverage on that area i just want a little bit of highlighted effect i want coverage on my under eye area and if you let your under eye concealer sit for a bit then it just gives you a full 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 coverage try this hack out and trust me it works just let your under eye concealer sit for about 40 to 50 seconds and then blend it out and you will notice a difference i promise you just try this hack out i'm setting my under eye area as well as my smile lines using the same maybelline fit me loose powder and uh, to set my entire makeup i am taking my flower beauty powder in the shade beige and i'm just setting my entire makeup using a powder brush To contour the parameters of my face, I'm using my Anastasia bronzer in the shade Saddle and I'm using this angled contour brush from Wet n Wild and I'm applying it um, on the hollows of my cheeks, on my chin area, I mean jawline, uh, on my forehead as well as on my nose just to sculpt out my face a little bit more and do not worry if my nose contour is looking a little bit harsh right now, I will blend it out later, I promise. I'm taking the same Physicians Formula Bronzer and I'm just warming up my complexion a little bit more to bring back that healthy glow to the face. For my blush, I'm taking my Rimmel Maxi Blush in the shade Wild Card. It is such a beautiful coral pink shade and it is a matte blush and it is very pigmented, lasts all day and it never becomes patchy um, I just love the color for my highlighter I'm taking my weight and wild precious petals and I'm just hitting the high points of my face such as my cheekbones my chin my cupid bow down the bridge of my nose as well as on the center of my forehead I'm finishing the rest of my eye makeup for that first I'm just tight lining my eyes using my Milani eyeliner pencil in the shade after dark this is a matte black eyeliner pencil and it lasts all day long and I'm smudging out my entire lower lash line using the same uh, matte green eyeshadow taking that rust orange shade I'm applying it on the border of the previous shade just to tie the look together and I am highlighting the inner corner of my eye as well as my brow bones using the same uh, Maybelline highlighter, Maybelline Wet n Wild highlighter. And I'm elongating the eyeliner on the inner corner of my eye and I'm just giving it a V shape just so that my eyes look wider and bigger. 
I am curling my lashes with my eyelash curler and I am applying a coat of mascara. This is my Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara. Again, such a good one. You can skip falses if you want to, but I used falses off camera. To set my entire makeup, I am using my Rimmel Stay Matte uh, Makeup Setting Spray. And I am first lining my lips using my uh this is my color pop lippy pencil in the shade love bug this is such a beautiful rusty brown shade for my lips i'm using my maybelline more rust i love the formula i have done a full review and swatches of all the shades you can go ahead and check that video out i love the formula of these lipsticks these are so good and that is pretty much it and here is the final look i got my jewelries from amazon and i really like the how the look turned out i uh, did a side bun like messy bun kind of a hair do for this look and i absolutely loved it and i love the eye and lip combo so 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 much and i hope you guys liked it too if you did then please hit the like button and please do subscribe to my channel and if you are not following me on facebook instagram and twitter then please do follow me there all the links will be given in the description box down below so make sure to check them out so yes you soon in my next video till then bye and take care bye